what is up everyone um, so I'm gonna do a quick review on the uh, NT um, car diagnostic scanner the OBD2 and uh, it's kind of a I'm kind of putting two videos into one but basically I'm gonna go ahead and review this product right here which is brand new comes with a little user manual and uh, I'm gonna plug this thing in the reason why I'm doing this is I actually have an engine light on my little uh, daily driver it's a 2004 uh, Chevrolet Impala with a 3.4 liter engine and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and replace the O2 sensor okay so let me show you what I'm talking about um, this is actually pretty nice it's pretty inexpensive too it's only like 35 bucks so I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in the description and I encourage you guys if you don't have you know something like this uh, go ahead and click on the link below um, in my description and pick yourself up one but uh we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just check the codes I do have an engine light Turn all this stuff off. but uh yeah you got the little port right here so the way this works is you just plug it right here um, underneath your dash it's pretty simple guys just plugs right in just like that so I do have a check it check engine light so it says All right, so it says turn key to the on position, which I just did. And I guess just hit enter. And what this is, this is actually pretty cool. Um, so it says read codes. It also, if I wanted to just go ahead and delete the code, I can just hit that. Uh, there's, there's a few things on here. Vehicle info. Let's go to vehicle info, see what that says. Turn key on with engine off. Okay. All right. Well, either way, um, there's really two things of why these 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 little guys right here are uh, made. It's really just to read the codes, uh, figure out what the heck's wrong with your car, and erase them. So. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, read codes. So look at that. We have a P0135. This is this is actually pretty cool just because it actually it'll tell you what it means. So uh, pretty neat. Not bad. Um, I've been using a Blue Point, really super nice one. It's uh, one of my relatives. I know he's watching this video right now. Uh, you can get yours back, man. Um, looks like I got me another one. But uh, this is pretty inexpensive. So, but yeah, it's the O2 sensor, uh, bank one. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that part right now. And uh, we'll go ahead and get to the install. Okay, guys, so I got the part. Oxygen sensor. And I'll show you guys where it's located. But here's the part right here. Comes with a wiring harness. And it looks like some NECs. We got to put on these threads right here. So that's neat. It comes with a little, little bit of it right there for you. And I noticed once my O2 sensor went out, um, I started getting really horrible gas mileage. So this is kind of why I'm replacing it. And I'm tired of looking at engine light too. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, so let me show you where this O2 sensor is. Really tight to see. Just bear it with me. All right, so there it is right there. There's the plug. You guys can see it, right? Good, okay. Anyways. It's right here where my finger is. That that whole part right there needs to go. Alright, so. <clears throat> All right, so let's get started. I don't have a crow's foot. That's actually what you're supposed to use to pull this O2 sensor. So I'm just going to use a 7 8 uh, just combination wrench. But uh, the right way of doing this is just buying a crow's foot from an, an auto parts store. But whatever, man. All right, guys. Uh, Next, what, are you gonna, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to uh, take the engine mounts off of the front. And the only reason why I'm doing this is because the O2 sensor is so close to the firewall, it's really hard for me to go ahead, to get a, um, a combination wrench back there. So, again, if you have like a crow's foot, look that up if you don't know what I'm talking about. Go ahead and pick yourself up one, but this doesn't take very long to take these uh, engine mounts off.
All right, just moving the engine up even three inches is really gonna make a big difference when uh, I pull this thing. All right, guys, so let's get to that O2 sensor. And uh, right behind it, it's gonna be a wiring harness. Let me uh, up the camera up here. I should at least get the idea all right there's the o2 sensor right here sorry it's not i know it's not a very good camera angle but it's the best i can do for right now and uh i know you guys aren't gonna like this but i don't really i think it's gonna be a little bit easier i'm gonna cut it dang should have used some better scissors Okay. And then right behind it, it's gonna there's gonna be a little sensor plug. I'm cutting it off because I want to I want to see if I can throw a socket over that, give me a little more leverage. Okay, guys, let me show you uh, what I figured out here. So on the very back of this, uh, let me show you make this a little bit easier what I did is on the old ones I went ahead and just cut the uh, back of the wiring harness and I took a hammer and I just beat that end off right here it actually it's pretty uh, pretty easy to bang out you just take a hammer and behind the engine bay and just beat it off and just pull that part out so you can slide a deep socket from the top down just like that and that's kind of where I'm at now all right so I got the deep socket down in there a huge tear pipe hooked up so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is just uh, try to break it loose. I think I got it. Yep. That was on so tight, that O2 sensor. I guess you just got to... Just figuring things out, you know. I mean, I had to have the perfect size too. I had to double up on uh, extensions. As you can see with the deep, deep socket to get back there but uh this method actually works pretty good if you guys are having a hard time if you have the same tools that i do or something in or around that uh, this job should be pretty easy check it out i just took a hammer went behind the uh, engine bay beat on it busted the tip of it and i just slid a deep socket on it too easy guys i mean this this job uh obviously a crow's foot would have came in handy but this was in so tight um i couldn't even break that thing loose so anyways let's keep moving here we're gonna install the new one the new part okay guys so i'm gonna use some of this anti seize Hopefully if I ever have to do this job again, it wouldn't be so tight. And all you're doing is you're just lubricating the threads. That's all you're doing. The reason for this right here is uh, it just gets so hot down there. Um, you would hate for this to be uh, seized, rust welded, if you will, to where you can't even get it off. Okay, so this is going to be your wiring harness right here. It's going to clip into this piece right here. I'm not gonna do that as of right now. I just wanna go ahead and get that in there. And what I'll be using to tighten it down with, which obviously I'll have a, enough to do it with is a seven eighths. So I'll, I'm gonna tighten it pretty tight using the seven eighths. The install is easy. <laughs> Just make sure that uh, I'm going to go ahead and tighten that up and then plug my, my sensor back in and uh, I will be good to go.
Okay, let's start it and see if this engine light turns off. Hey, look at that, no more engine light. <laughs> awesome. And uh, thanks to this little guy right here, I'm glad he was able to find me the codes. But yeah, again, if uh, you guys want to decide to buy something like this, this is probably the most inexpensive um, code reader that I found that actually reads digitally and shows you guys, um, you know, like exactly what the codes mean. Because most of these guys, they just tell you what the code is and there's no description. You have to buy a more expensive one. So go ahead and check this thing out. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, hopefully that video was helpful. I appreciate your time. And uh, don't forget, forget to hit that subscribe button if this video was helpful or if you just want to see more videos like this. Uh, anyways, you have a good day and thanks for watching.